Today, I'm at the Columbia Memorial Space Center in Downey, California. Can you guess what this is? It's a real capsule. Mm-hmm, and today, we're going to be astronauts and create a capsule of our own. Are you ready? Okay, blast off! I'm so excited to be in a shadow today and be an astronaut. Do you know what an astronaut is? An astronaut is a person that goes up into outer space to study the moon and stars and planets too. I got it. Would you like to be an astronaut with me? <laughs> Great. All right, let me dial Mission Control. Mission Control, it's Commander Meeker here. Mm-hmm, my astronaut buddies and I are ready for takeoff. <gasps> All right, counting down in three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets. I can see Mercury, and Venus, and Earth, and Mars, and Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Did you know the sun is a star? <laughs> I know, so cool. Okay, let's go park and explore. <laughs> wow, check it out. It's a real spacesuit, just like astronauts wear when they go on moonwalks in space. <laughs> it's white with red accents. Oh, and the material is really, really tough to protect astronauts when they're in space. And look at this helmet. This is so astronauts can breathe oxygen out in space. I want to get inside. Come on. Hi, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, an asteroid. <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets up here. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. I have a flight suit of my own. <laughs> I'm astronaut Mika and I'm ready to explore space. Are you ready? Vroom, 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 zoom, 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 let's go! This is a robotics lab. This is where scientists called engineers code a rover. A rover is a big truck that moves along a planet's surface and takes pictures of rocks and dirt. And the cool thing is it's controlled by a scientist on Earth. That way, they can learn about what a planet is like. Come on, let's go code a rover. Coding the rover means I'm planning out how it'll move on the planet. <laughs> okay, I'm setting up this rover to take lots of pictures of Mars and pick up a rock. Okay, now that it's set, let's place it on the table. <gasps> Whoa, this rover reminds me of an excavator. It picks up rocks instead of dirt, though. Here we go. Okay, let's hope the rover picks up this rock. Here we go. Oh, not quite. Let's try again. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Yay, we did it. We taught the rover how to pick up a rock. Now, scientists can use these rocks to discover different things about the planet, like how big it is, how old it is, and what can survive there. <laughs> cool, let's go. This is where we can build our own capsule, just like Apollo 11. Let's get our supplies. First, we'll need two pieces of black yarn. One, 
two. Next, we need a cardboard capsule. Then we need a sheet of tissue paper. Oh, there are lots of different colors in here, but I'm gonna pick yellow, just like my headband. A capsule is a piece of the rocket that the astronauts use to come back to Earth in. We're punching some holes in there. Awesome! Two holes punched in our capsule. Now we'll punch some holes in our tissue paper. One hole. And two. Awesome! Next, we'll take our black yarn and we'll loop it through the holes. Oh, I bet my best friend Blippi and I would have a great time in one of these. <laughs> I love traveling through space with my best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, one last step. Take our silver handle and put tape it on top. Now I need two pieces of tape. One. Two. Now we have our capsule and we're ready to launch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. <gasps> Quit it. We did it. Awesome! Safe landing. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mission Control. We did it. We went all the way into outer space and now we're safe back on planet Earth. We were really busy exploring space and when it was time to come back to Earth, we landed safely in our parachutes. I just want to thank all the scientists for their hard work. And I especially want to thank my best friend, Blippi, for always believing in me and my mission. <laughs> now let's go see what other things we can make fly through the air. Come on! <gasps> Check it out, an airplane building station. That's right, airplanes fly through the air too. Okay. I'll start with a sheet of paper, and then I'll fold it in half. Paper airplanes help us understand how real airplanes fly through the sky. Oh, look, I just made a triangle. See? <laughs> Triangles have three sides. All right, fold it one more time, and another time on this side. And look, we have an airplane. Woo! Whoa! Let's go! Oh! We made it to the launching pad! The shape of the wings is what makes it possible for an airplane to fly. When the wings are flat and then curved at the end, air pressure can sit on top of the plane, which makes it possible to fly through the air! Okay. Let's make sure our launching pad is lined up just right. There we go. So we'll put the plane here, and we'll push this green button. In three, two, one. Wow! Look at that airplane go! <laughs> Check it out. I'm in a science lab. Astronauts are scientists, too. That's because they do experiments when they're exploring on the moon. An experiment is when you try something new to see what will happen. Sometimes you need a parent or an adult to help you. I've got it. Let's do an experiment and learn together. Will you help me with my ooey gooey experiment? <laughs> Great. Let's start off with a quarter cup of water. Splash! 
And then we'll add a quarter cup of sticky, ooey gooey glue. <laughs> now we'll have to take our popsicle stick and stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir it up. Stir up that glue. Stir, 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 stir it up. I love to experiment with you. <laughs> okay, we got our get our glue and water all mixed in. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, we're ready to add our glitter. And guess what? It's my favorite color, purple. Wow, so pretty. Looks very stellar. <laughs> Okay, we have our purple glitter, and now we're gonna add a quarter cup of starch. And that'll make it extra, extra sticky. Wow, do you see it? It's forming in one big lump. Wow, okay, I think it's almost ready. I think we're ready to touch it. Ooh, it's so sticky and ooey gooey. <laughs> I've got it. I'll name my slime hmm, Lunar Slime. <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring space with me today. We wore a spacesuit, we coated a rover, and we created our own capsule and watched it float back down to Earth. That was cool. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> all right, see you later, bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. Today I'm at a really cool place called Sequest Interactive Aquarium in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's right. Interactive means we get to pet, feed, and say hi to some of the animals we meet. I'm so excited to meet some adorable animals. Let's go. Whoa, check out this canoe. It has so many bright colors. Let's name the colors. Red, black, <gasps> yellow, one of my favorite colors. Orange and brown too. <gasps> I know, let's get inside and go find some animal friends. Whoa, the waters are really rough. Grab your oar. Great job, keep going. Whoa, I can see the shore is getting closer. Let me make sure we're going the right way. Oh yeah, we're traveling west. <laughs> keep rowing, friend, you're doing a great job. Oh, we made it to shore. Let's go see what animal friends we can find. Wow, look at these sea stars. They're so bright and colorful. Let's take a closer look. Let's count how many arms this one has. One, two, three, four, five. Five arms. <laughs> Did you know when sea stars injure their arms, they just grow back. <laughs> And sea stars have a very interesting way of eating. They wrap their arms around their food, spit out their bellies. The bellies eat up all the food. Yum, 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 yum. And then they go back into their body. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. That's called a sea urchin. It's round and kind of prickly. And that's a sea anemone. Let's give it a peck. Whoa, it's so soft. <laughs> Let's pet this sea star too. Oh, 
Oh, that was much harder. Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, a stingray. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, there are real stingrays over there. Let's go say hello. <laughs> wow. Stingrays have flat bodies so that they can get nice and snug in some sand in case they need to protect themselves. <laughs> and they love to eat shrimp. Oh, hey, I know. Let's feed them some of my Sea Quest shrimp that I have in my jam pack. <laughs> okay, friends, it's lunch time. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more stingray friends to eat some lunch. There you go. How about a pet? Oh, here's a friend. <laughs> you must be really hungry, friend. Oh, whoa. did you see that shark? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <gasps> whoa! <laughs> Let's feed him some more. <laughs> Stingrays move very wavy like this. That's because they don't have any bones. It was so nice to meet you, Stingrays. Let's go see what other friends we can find. <laughs> Whoa! I heard this tortoise's name is Stormin Norman. <laughs> Hi, Norman. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Tortoises have hard shells that protect their bodies. Their arms, legs, and head can go inside of it. <laughs> Whoa. And did you know tortoises do something called broom mating? That's when they sleep longer in the winter months. <laughs> Let's see if Stormin wants some food. I have some Sequest jicama in my jam bag. <laughs> Here you go, Norman. No, doesn't seem like he's hungry. That's okay. I'll hold on to your food for later. <laughs> well, bye, Norman. Let's go see some other animal friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Janelle. Hey, Janelle. What do you do here? I'm the lead keeper here. Wow, that's so cool. <gasps> oh, are you about to feed the animals? Yes, would you like to go in? I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's go. This is Azalea. <laughs> Hi, Azalea. What does Azalea like to eat? She likes to eat different kinds of greens and haze. She's got flat teeth so she can chew on those. Oh, wow. They're herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. <laughs> May I feed her? Yes, you can. Here you go, Azalea. <laughs> Yum. Perfect. Did you know wallabies can balance on their tails? Wow! And how are wallabies different from kangaroos? It's mostly size. Kangaroos get about six feet, where these guys get to about three and a half, four feet in height. Oh, so wallabies are much smaller. <gasps> Can I pet Azalea? Yes, we're gonna do a two finger touch down her back. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so soft. Can you tell me any other facts about wallabies? Yes, they're marsupials. Oh, I know what that means. Marsupials carry their babies in pouches. <laughs> kind of like a jam pack. Oh, do you hear that hopping sound? <laughs> hop, hop. Let's hop like a wallaby. Hop, hop. <laughs> Would you like to go see some other animals? Yes, I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's hop away. Whoa, prairie dogs. I know, prairie dogs like to live in groups. That's right, they also like to communicate with each other through chirps and noises. Whoa, will you chirp like a prairie dog with me? Chirp, 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 chirp. And prairie dogs like to burrow. That means they live underground. And they like to nuzzle each other's noses. <laughs> and they groom each other too. That's how they stay clean. That's right. Would you like to feed them? <gasps> yes, please. Oh, look, they like lettuce. Oh, are you ready to eat, friend? There you go. 
<laughs> what does it mean when they do this? They like to play with you. Would you like to try? Sure. Let's see if they'll play with me. Hello, friend. Will you dance with me? Can we see some other animals? Yes, let's go. Great. Who's this? This is Percy the Possum. Oh, Percy is so fluffy. He's a marsupial. Do you remember the other marsupials we met? <laughs> yeah, the wallabies. Wow, Percy has such a strong tail. Is that for climbing trees? Yes, this is a prehensile tail. Mm, prehensile means there are lots of muscles in his tail. <laughs> what does Percy like to eat? Percy likes to eat lots and lots of bugs at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And he likes to eat little snacks here and there. Ooh. Would you like to feed him one? Yes, please. Oh, yum! Sweet potato. Here you go, Percy. Yum, he's got a big mouthful. Can I pet him? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> How does Percy differ from other marsupials? He's not turn off. Oh. Nocturnal means that he sleeps during the day and is awake all night. How many teeth does Percy have? He has the most amount of teeth of a North American uh, marsupial or oh. mammal. <laughs> oh, great. It was so nice to meet you, Percy. <gasps> Who's this? This is Quilliam. <laughs> Hi, Quilliam. Is he named Quilliam because of these quills? Yes. <laughs> these quills? Help keep Quilliam safe. Whenever he's frightened, he just fans out his quills, and that means please stay back. <laughs> Quilliam's an African crested porcupine. <gasps> an African crested porcupine is the biggest porcupine in the world. Can I feed him? Yes, you can. Ooh, what's this? There's yucca. He likes to eat root vegetables. Sweet potato, yucca. <laughs> Quilliam, would you like some yucca? Here you go, Quilliam. Very tasty, huh? <laughs> Whoa! Feels like Quilliam has very strong teeth. He does. He has rodent teeth. They never stop growing. He's also got a special enamel on him that keeps him from getting <laughs> cavities. Oh, that's really helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me all these animals. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Janelle. Bye, Quilliam. Bye, Mika. Whoa! A coloring station. Would you like to color with me? <laughs> Great! <laughs> I'll start with purple. <gasps> I know. Can you guess what animal I'm coloring that we saw earlier today? I'll give you a few hints. This animal has eyes on top of its head and a mouth on the bottom of its body. Ooh, I want to use black next. <laughs> This animal loves to eat shrimp. <laughs> oh, ooh, I'm coloring with blue now. This animal has a really long tail. Do you know what it is? That's right, a stingray. <laughs> I think I'll name my stingray Shirley. <laughs> Come on, Shirley, let's swim away. <laughs> Look, Stingray, I can move like you. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun meeting all those Stingrays and Azalea the Wallaby and Quilliam the Porcupine. Wow, those animals were so cute. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> Okay, let's hop away like wallabies. Hey, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. My best friend Blippi has been here a few times and said it's so much fun. So I thought I would come here and see for myself. <laughs> I have my compass watch and my jam pack, so I'm ready for any kind of adventure. Come on. Oh. 
Dear Mika. <gasps> and it's from Blippi. Oh, <laughs> let's read it. I'm so excited that you are going to Billy B's. You're going to have an amazing time. I've put some things in your jam pack for you to play with throughout the day. You just have to figure out where to use them. Have fun. Oh, you put things in my jam pack? Let's see. Oh, there's a, hmm. oh, <laughs> a chef's hat. Okay. Carrot seeds? Huh. And colorful ribbon. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder what I'm gonna use these items for. Well, only one way to find out. Oh, cool. And Billy B socks. Let's play. Honeycomb Village? Sounds fun. Let's go. Oh, cool. <laughs> hey, look at this. A garden. Ooh, I love gardens because that means there's delicious fruits and vegetables here and I love to eat. All right, let's see what's in this garden. Ooh, corn on the cob. Mmm, delicious. Ooh, onions. Two onions. One, two. Yummy. Oh, do you know what these are? It's a root vegetable. That's right, potatoes. One, two. Oh, and I see a big potato right here. Yummy. Oh, this is getting me hungry. There's even strawberries in this garden. One, two. <laughs> Wait a second. Wasn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a garden? Yeah, I think there was. Carrot seeds! Oh, this will go perfect in the garden. I can just, let's make some room, excuse me, food, excuse me, and put some carrot seeds in there. And you need nutritious soil, and some water, and some beautiful sunshine, and then a fruit or vegetable will grow. Ooh, I can't wait to see these carrots grow. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll take a snack for the road. Hmm. Maybe I'll find a yellow snack. Like a huh, banana. That's a nice, healthy fruit filled with potassium. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Did you ever notice that a banana kind of looks like a phone? Hello? Hello, Mika. Yeah, it's me, Mika. How are you? Good. What are you up oh, to? Oh, I didn't even know that this was charged up. Yeah, hi. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I gotta go. I'm playing with my friends. Bye-bye. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, I better finish eating this banana. Hmm. <laughs> Peeling and... Mmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Put the peel right here in the trash. Oh, and look, it's like we're in a little house. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> ice cream in the freezer. And there's two ice cream cones. One, two. One for me and one for you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and the refrigerator's on the bottom. I wonder if there's any treats in there. No treats. Looks like somebody needs to go grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, whoa. There's food over here. Look at these two baskets of food. Hmm, we should make something. What should we make? See a lot of bread and cheese and let's make a sandwich. Okay, let's see. What do we have? What do we have in this basket? We have bread. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have burgers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have peas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we have tomatoes, please. Let's stack it. Let's stack it. Come on, we're gonna snack it. <laughs> Check it out. Burger, cheese, tomato. Ooh, it's gonna be messy, but it's gonna be yummy. Mmm! -hmm. Tasty! What else is in here? Oh! A really tiny soda! Oh! 
nice and refreshed. <laughs> Whoa, look at this cool sink. Oh, looks like there's some dirty dishes here. Ooh, ooh, we really need to clean this spatula. So, oh, here's a sponge, get a little soap on there, and some water. Time to clean. <laughs> there we go. Hey, when you're playing, it's always best to clean up if you make a mess. <laughs> Whoa, okay, let's get some water on here and <gasps> good as new. So clean. <laughs> I wonder what else is here. Let's go. Whoa, a pizzeria. Let's go inside. <gasps> wow. Isn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a restaurant? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, a chef's hat. Okay. If I put it on, I can be a chef. Chef Mika, welcome to my pizzeria. Okay, let's see, we have a pizza ready. Let me get one of these trays here and we just slide that on here. Ooh. Good thing it's pretender, that would be really hot. <laughs> okay, let's put it together to make a nice circle for the pizza. Okay, who ordered the mushroom, tomato, cheese, and green sprinkle pizza? Oh, you? Oh, well it's ready. Let's go to the register so you can pay. Okay, let's see, you've got the cheese and the tomatoes and the mushrooms and the Green sprinkles. I'm gonna give it to you for free. The sprinkles are on the house. Okay, that'll be one million dollars, please. Whoa, thank you. Okay, Whoop. there you go. And here's your change. <laughs> All right, here's your pizza. Enjoy. Actually, pizza sounds pretty good right now. And, oh yes, I'm due for my lunch break. Okay, Whew. and that pizza special that you ordered looked really good, so I think I'm gonna have the same thing. <gasps> and there's one ready for me right over there. Ah, oh, it looks so yummy. Hey, will you count the pizza slices with me? <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, six yummy slices just for me. Ooh, and pizza's so fun because you can eat it with your hands. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe I'll put some, a little pepper on there, just a little bit. And ooh, some salt. <laughs> ooh, hot sauce. I love spicy food. Okay, actually. <laughs> oh, that looks really yummy. Okay, here we go. Mmm, 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 mm, mm. It's too hot. Ah, it's too hot. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I thought I could handle it. I cannot. That's okay. We'll just leave it there for a second. Maybe I'll come back to it when I'm feeling a little better. <laughs> Let's see what else is here. Come on. Whoa, look at this really colorful place that we can play in. Come on. Whoa, these are fun steps. Look, the color green. And this step's the color blue. And this is the color green. And this is orange and blue and green. Hey, there's a slide over there. Will you meet me at the bottom? All right, see you soon. Oh, I can't wait to go down the slide. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fast. Hey, there's something super colorful over there. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check out the rainbow slides. <gasps> That must be where I'm supposed to use the rainbow ribbon. <laughs> Did you see that? 
there's so many different colors. And it looks like there's a ribbon for each slide. <laughs> Guess I have to go down every single slide. Are you ready? I'll meet you at the bottom. See ya. Whoa! Blue! Light blue. <laughs> Here I come. Green. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Red. <laughs> hey, we did it. We figured out where to use the items that Flippy put in my jam pack. We got to plant carrot seeds, and oh, I wore the chef's hat when I made pizza in the pizzeria. And the rainbow ribbons led us to these really cool rainbow slides. Oh, it was so much fun playing with you. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> N-E-E-K-A-H. <laughs> Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Posh and Petite Playhouse in Woodland Hills, California. <laughs> Did you know this is a place where we can explore and be curious about different jobs? <laughs> I can't wait to try different jobs like an ice cream maker or a firefighter. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Which way should we go? Oh, check out this road. <laughs> Look, it's black with white stripes. Oh, black and white are opposite colors. Opposites mean they're completely different from one another. Kind of like, oh, night and day, or hot and cold. <laughs> oh, check it out. Do you see that horse over there? Oh, let's drive our car over to him. Hello, horsey. <laughs> I'm going to name him Popsicle, because I really love Popsicle. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a horse? <gasps> Nay! Whoa! Oh, he's got a lot of horsepower. Let's go! <laughs> Check it out. It's a marketplace. We can buy healthy fruits and vegetables here and make delicious meals. I know. Let's be a grocer. <laughs> All right. See you later, Popsicle. First, we need our basket. <laughs> wow, check it out. If we wanna be a grocer, we have to get some items to put in our basket so we can ring it up. First, we'll need some alphabet soup. That's healthy and delicious. And how about some peas and carrots? And, ooh, mushrooms too. <gasps> Check out all these healthy fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are good for your body because they help you grow strong. <laughs> I got it. Let's play a game. Fruit or vegetable? A carrot. It's orange and crunchy and bunny rabbits love to eat them. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Do you know if this is a fruit or a vegetable? Oh, that's right, a vegetable. Great job. All right, how about this? It's a cucumber. It's green and it has seeds. Fruits have seeds and vegetables don't. Fruit or vegetable? Oh yeah, that's a tricky one. It's a fruit, even though it seems like it's a vegetable. But great job. Hmm. Oh, yum. A strawberry. Strawberries are really, really sweet. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> awesome. A fruit. One fruit point, please. Hmm. Oh, look. A lemon. 
Lemons are one of my favorite colors. Yellow. And they're really sour. Can you pretend to taste a sour lemon? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, sour is the opposite of sweet. Strawberries are sweet, but lemons are sour. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a fruit, just like the sweet strawberry. Okay, ooh, check it out, a piece of corn. Mmm, <gasps> that's delicious. Do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a yummy vegetable. All right, let's go check out now. Welcome to Mika's Marketplace. Oh, I see you got corn. And you're in luck, because we have a special on corn. Just one cent. And a lemon. And our sweet strawberry. And a delicious carrot. And alphabet soup. Peas and carrots. Mmm, mushrooms. Wow, you got so many healthy options. <laughs> oh, being a grocer is so much fun. We even got to help a customer take home delicious vegetables to make yummy meals. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Yeehaw! We're at an ice cream shop. I know, let's pretend to be ice cream makers. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let's go! Welcome to Mika's Magical Ice Cream Parlor. What's that? Fresh baked cookies? <laughs> Coming right up. Look at that, fresh out the oven. Oh, they smell delicious. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve crispy cookies. Let's taste one. Mmm, that's delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Mmm. Do you know what this is? That's right, a purple popsicle, just like my horse's name. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? There you are, one for you and one for me. Oh, that's really cold. Perfect for a hot day. Oh, those are opposites, hot and cold. When I'm cold, oh, it makes me shiver. But when I'm hot, oh, I could sure use a popsicle. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream today? <gasps> Great. How many scoops? Oh, five scoops? Okay, here we go. One chocolate scoop. Two, a vanilla scoop. Three, mint chocolate chip. <laughs> There you go, friend. Perfect. Four, a strawberry scoop. And five, a vanilla scoop on top. Oh, wow, it's stacked up so high. Mm. <laughs> I love being an ice cream maker. I love scooping ice cream and tasting it too. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what other jobs we can do. <gasps> oh, don't forget Popsicle. Hello, Popsicle. Are you ready? Are you set? Go! <gasps> wow, check it out. We're in front of a fire station. A firefighter's job is to put out fires. Do you want to be a firefighter with me? Awesome, let's go. This is a cool fire station. Oh, look, a fire truck. It's red and really long too. 
<laughs> and look at these trucks. Let's go park. All right, to the parking lot we go. <laughs> oh, and look at these trucks. They're really big. Oh, and these trucks are small. Big and small, those are opposites. How about this one? Big or small compared to this truck? Pretty small, right? <laughs> but what about compared to this one? Oh, now it's really big. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a siren. Oh, we gotta get ready to go. Put out a fire. Hello? Yes, fire? On one, two, three, fire road? Oh no! Let's go! Grab our hose! <gasps> Firefighter Mika is on the way! Grab my hose and save the day! Oh! Awesome! We just put out a fire! <gasps> that was so much fun! Thanks for helping me, you're very brave! Firefighters are really brave. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Whoa, look, an animal hospital. This is where veterinarians work. Veterinarians are doctors, but for animals. Would you like to be a veterinarian with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. Oh, look at these doors. A small door for turtles and hamsters and gerbils too, and a medium door for bunny rabbits and ducks, quack quack, and ferrets and guinea pigs too. And a large door for cats and dogs. Large and small, those are opposites. <laughs> cool. Oh, and look at this door for birdies. Oh, that's another opposite. High and low, low and high. <laughs> Let's pretend to be birds Fly into the vet's office. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Paging Dr. Mika, you have a patient ready. Okay. Oh, and check it out, here's our patient. Hello, puppy, how are you today? Little scratches, scratches. Did your family bring you here for a checkup? Oh, awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. We have a stethoscope. Stethoscopes are for hearing what's inside of your body, like your heart. Oh, may I check your heart too? Great. Wow, that sounds nice and strong. Okay, let's check puppy's heart. This might be a little cold. Wow, that sounds so healthy and strong. You must be getting on your daily walks, huh? Don't forget to hydrate, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> oh, being a veterinarian is so much fun. I love helping animals and their families too. <laughs> Now that I checked out the whole town, I'm gonna hit the road. Are you ready, Popsicle? <laughs> Let's go, giddy up! <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring different jobs with me today. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd be a ice cream maker, grocer, animal doctor, firefighter. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> they were all so much fun, I can't just pick one. <laughs> but you know the best part? Exploring with you, friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <gasps> Great! <laughs> M-E-E K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. 
And today we're at Nailed It DIY Studio in Orlando, Florida. DIY means do it yourself. And today we're gonna build and make art. I can't wait, come on. Oh, look at all of this stuff. These are all signs that people have made and that's what I get to make today. Oh, look, this box says meow. Oh, I wonder if it's something that you could put cat treats in or cat food. Oh, and look at this one. All guests must be approved by the dog. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, I see some pink colors down here. Let's see how many colors they have. A lot. Oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? <laughs> oh, they're purple and yellow. <gasps> and they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. Blue and orange. Ha, huh, that's cool. Wow, these are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, welcome. <laughs> Or, whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, welcome friends, come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends, welcome. <laughs> and here's a square. One, two, three, four even sides. And there's bigger squares up there. Hmm, oh cool, a circle. A small circle and a really big circle. Hmm, which one should I choose? Uh, I think I like this one, the medium stack square. That's number 07. We have to remember that, 07. Okay, come on. Oh. Hi, Margie. Oh, hi, Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome. So did you pick a size? Yes, number 07. Perfect. And did you want to add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie? For my best friend. <laughs> Absolutely. So we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, well, this one's called dandelion. Fancy. And we have pearl and latte. We also have a paint roller. Easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> and what are these for? So these are actually to hold the wood stack pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Now what? So we have these lines here and those oh, yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna follow the black lines. That's my guide. All right, good teamwork. You are a pro. Oh, you did thank good. you. <laughs> All right, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. 
And there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth. <laughs> Come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here, one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you wanna push. Okay. Once it's on, you are gonna run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, okay, so let's make this super smooth. Time to sand. are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look at oh. your stencil. <gasps> yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And oh, that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay, so I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze that over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay, and I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. All right, now we just wait for it to dry? Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. <laughs> You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base and let's dry! Okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you wanna do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm gonna give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool! It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough. But this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites, rough and smooth. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bobby pin. <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. I think that looks good. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you want to do is run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm-hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool. And this is going to push all the bubbles yeah. out. Yes. Okay. Bye, bubbles. <laughs> so now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. And pull down towards you, slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. Well, I did it. <laughs> wow. That looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, let's start with the 
ice cream cone, and I'm going to use pearl. That way it would look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off, and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. For the whole thing. Like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone. Okie doke. Perfect. So now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. You look like a sugar cone. I'm gonna be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. So yellow there, wide end, dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Let's see, my headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> Margie! What happened? I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh. This is good, and oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your back. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, uh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting, and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, it is powerful. <laughs> it's dry. So now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, wood. that's right, yeah. So if the, if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we wanna peel this way. Oh, gotcha, against the grain. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you're gonna start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each down towards you? So. Yes. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa. Uh-oh, there's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay, it can rip, it can tear. That's totally fine. Oop, there we go. Check it out! So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right! We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. You good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit! Oh, we did it! <laughs> You're ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. I think 
That looks pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. It's powerful. There you go. Everything's about to fly. I know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the green. Yes. So we wanna go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I wanna be able to hang my headband, and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks, Oop. Okay, we have one, two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hook started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Let's put this one right here. Okay. Okay, you're ready All for right. the hooks. Two holes and here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so <laughs> welcome. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks Bye. again. You're Bye. welcome. <laughs> hey, wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign. <laughs> Today I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. Oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M E E. K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, this is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh. It's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can hey. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout! What a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he is. <laughs> See, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? <laughs> Aw. Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aw. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa. Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. They need a lot of things. Aww. And is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food bowls, uh, litter box, litter, 
Um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you ad adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. Oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us, and yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, aw. And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww, so, so sweet. What's this? A blue, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww, this dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Melissa's ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart and super cute. <laughs> are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat, patio, it's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm, will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay, whoa, look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh, there's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> 
come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. Oh wow, there's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. See some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh, this cat is taking a cat nap. Wow, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. Oh, there's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who I is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. <gasps> How old is Memphis? He's eight weeks. Eight weeks, just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Oh, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> You have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aw, it's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was 
so fun getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the El Sereno Community Garden in Los Angeles, California. Here, people come together from the community to practice gardening together. Oh, I bought some food scraps from home to compost. Have you ever composted before? <laughs> That's sort of like when you recycle to protect our earth. Mm-hmm. And the best part, we get to go digging in the dirt. Ready? Come on, let's go. Whoa, look at these colorful signs. Oh, they're greetings in different languages, welcoming us to the garden. Aw, thank you, signs. It's a pleasure to be here. Wow, check out all these plants. <laughs> there are too many to even count. And look, they're all in the dirt. That's where they get their nutrients, from the soil. Do you know what other nutrients plants need to grow? <gasps> That's right, sunlight and <sighs> fresh air and lots of water. You can water them yourself or sometimes when it rains, they get plenty of water so you don't have to. <laughs> oh, plants need lots of space to grow too. <gasps> oh. This garden looks very spacious, which means there's plenty of space for plants to grow. <laughs> okay, friends, let's keep exploring. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, Mika, I'm Erica. Welcome to the El Sereno Community Garden in Otsunga, the place of the roses. Nice. In the Tongva language, can you say Otsunga? Otsunga. Nice. <laughs> uh, are you here to compost? Yes, I am. Perfect. I have my eggshells and my avocado and my banana peels. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let me show you Great. Uh, what to do. And on the LA compost method of uh, composting, there's three boxes. You uh -huh. add. Uh, your food scraps here, and then you put a layer of browns, uh, which is dry leaves or mulch, mm -hmm. on top of your kitchen scraps, okay. which are your greens, mm -hmm. even though the banana is not green. <laughs> but, no, those but, are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and so you put greens and browns, greens and browns, and you make sure the brown layer stays on top. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets filled, you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and add water, and then you move it to the next one, and then you shift it, and you add, add water. water. <laughs> and then at the end, it looks like this. Whoa, check it out. So the compost pile, when it's ready to sift, mm -hmm. you look, if you look inside, there's bugs and worms and oh. roly polies. Oh, yes. And everywhere. What do the bugs do? They decompose the soil, the matter, the brown matter, oh. and make it into fertile soil. Mm, decomposing means you break something down. So once it's finished breaking down, uh -huh. we take a handful and we bring it to the sifter. And then the sifter, you take out the big brown things that don't fill through the holes. Mm -hmm. And then you keep the worms. If you find any worms, uh -huh. you uh, put them back. Oh, put them back. Hello, Because worms. they're our friends. <laughs> and then we put them back in the soil so they can continue making soil. And the, the one that's sifted that goes through is ready to plant to plant new plants. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna go plant on the other side of the garden. You wanna join me later when you finish composting? Sure. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, here I go. Our earth is a wonderful host. I love to help her through compost. We'll compost this and we'll compost that with some food and plant scraps. 
Whoa! Awesome! Okay, let's head over to this big pile of dirt. Scoop up some dirt! And maybe some worms, too! Okay! Three, two, one! Sift off! Sift, sift, sift! Oh, check out these worms! Did you know earthworms have taste buds all over their bodies? <laughs> Okay. Wow. Let's go find Erica to see if she needs help planting. I've got it. Let's wiggle over like a worm. Ready, worms? Here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, squish, squish. Hi, Erica. Hi, Mika. <laughs> what are you planting? I'm planting some hummingbird sage, some narrow leaf milkweed, and some lettuce. Oh, I'd like to help. Yes. Did you bring the compost? Oh, yes. It's right here. Perfect. You're going to need it. <laughs> so you make a hole about the size of the roots and the size of your fist. You take the plant out of the pot and be careful with the roots. Look at that. Oh, look at all those roots. And you plant them nice and gentle in the hole. And then you give a nice warm hug with the compost. There we go, little plant. These are for the pollinators. Oh, I know what that is. That's when certain animals fly from plant to plant. The pollen gets on their body, then they fly to the other plant, and it helps the plants grow. Do you know what kind of animals are pollinators? That's right. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Bees and hummingbirds and butterflies and bats too. That's right, and you want to know what else is a pollinator? I'll give you a hint. They're red and black. Can you guess what a pollinator is? Ladybug? That's right, look, there's one right here. Oh, look at that ladybug. So sweet. <laughs> Did you know ladybugs are male as well? <laughs> Despite the name, they're male and female. In you go. Thank you. How about here? Now that I'm done planting, I'd like to try something else. Oh, can we harvest? Yes, you can. You can harvest whatever is ready and ripe. Ready and ripe. Got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. I have a plan. Let's gather up some fruits and vegetables for a salad. Oh, these would be great. Check it out. These are Filipino limes. They're ready when they're yellow instead of green. <laughs> okay, lime, let's go. Here we go. We have two limes. <laughs> Ooh, flowers. Wow, look at this tree. Wonder what it is. Oh, I know. It's guava. <laughs> you can tell a fruit is ripe if it falls to the ground. That means we're ready. <laughs> Get some guava for our salad. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, let's find some more food for our salad. Yum! Cocoa plum. Let's pick one for our salad. <laughs> Look, it's so little. And it's one of my favorite colors, purple. <laughs> Check it out over here. <gasps> I see another fruit. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a watermelon. Wow, I've never seen one this small before. This will be delicious in my salad. Ooh, an orange tree. But these oranges aren't quite ready. You know how I know? <laughs> yeah, they're still green. Not ripe yet. Okay, oranges, I'll see you later when you're ready. <gasps> Look! <laughs> A really big cactus. This can go into a salad, but no thank you, cacti. I 
think I'll move on. Yummy! Strawberries! Should we put strawberries in our salad? <laughs> yeah! One strawberry, two strawberries. Hmm. Oh, check it out. Kale. I would like some of this for my salad, too. <laughs> I know. Let's make a salad for Erica to thank her for showing us this lovely garden. Here we go. Hello, Erica. Hi, Mika. We made you a delicious salad. Yummy! What's in it? We have watermelon and guava and strawberry and kale. Yummy! I'm gonna <laughs> have it for lunch. <laughs> Mika, can you help me with one more thing? Yes, I'm happy to help. I need to spread seeds out uh, so we can uh, harvest some flowers. This is Arroyo Lupin. It's beautiful purple bloom. Mm. Oh, that's one of my favorite colors. Now, when we spread the seeds, we have to sing to them, twinkle, twinkle, little star, because we believe the seeds are the stars of the earth. Oh. Can you help me? Yes. Perfect. Roll out your hand. I'm gonna give you some seeds. Thank you. And we'll get seeds and we'll start singing and wishing them love. You ready? Yes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yes, you're Come so back welcome. anytime. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. That was awesome. We did a great job composting with those worms, planting in a garden, and harvesting some yummy fruit and vegetables for a salad. What a great, beautiful day. I hope you had fun too. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friend, see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm visiting Half Peak in Southgate, California. Did you know this is a place where we can rock climb? <laughs> yeah, rock climbing is a fun way to exercise our bodies. I have an idea. Let's play a game. Every time I make it all the way to the tippy top, I'm gonna get a Mika point. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wow, check out all these climbing towers. <gasps> oh, before we start climbing, we should stretch and warm up our bodies. Stretching is a great way to keep your muscles healthy and safe. Okay, starting with those legs. Ah, deep breaths. Ah. <gasps> Do you hear that? I just got a Mika point for stretching. Ah, yeah. Oh, before I climb, I should take off my jam pack. Okay, I'm ready. Hey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bertha. Nice to meet you. <laughs> did you just climb all the way to the top? Yes, I did. Oh, wow. Can you show me how to get ready to climb? Yeah, of course. Awesome. <laughs> What's the first step? Thank you. Okay, so the first step, I have to get a harness on you just for your own safety, okay? Oh, great. We're going to get a harness on so we can be safe while we climb. Okay, so once you're ready, you're gonna put your right foot and left foot in the small holes and then just pick it up like their pants, okay? Oh, great. Right foot, left foot. Pick them up like their pants. Good job. And then you're gonna hold it on your waist. Thank you. Get in it okay, nice you can Great, I feel really secure. All right, you're good. Okay, and now the next step, you're gonna get your wheel and you're gonna put it in here, okay? Got my wheel. Hear the click and then you get your key and then take it right out. Release the key. 
thing. <gasps> Great. And then just let your mat come down and then you're good to go. Thank you so much, Bertha. Yeah, of course. Bye. <laughs> okay, my harness is on and I'm locked into the belay and I'm ready to go because I'm safe and ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on, let's climb. using the muscles in my legs and my arms. <laughs> Great job. Wow, another Mika point. It was so cool. I can't wait to climb another wall. But first, we have to get out of our wheel. Pick up the key. Wait for the click. There it is. And release our wheel. Woo. <laughs> Great. Are you ready for our next wall? Me too. Let's go. We're at our next wall. But first, let's stretch again. All right. Here's how I stretch my legs. Yeah. And here's how I stretch my arms. Whoa. <laughs> stretch out my toesies too. And don't forget those ears. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Take my wheel, click, and release the key. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Whoa, don't these look like eggs? <laughs> All right, here I go. Wow, another Mika point. Whoa, I made it all the way to the top by taking it one step at a time. <sighs> all that climbing has made me kind of tired. I think now's a great time for a water break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's put in our key. Click. Grab our wheel. <sighs> let's go. I'm having so much fun climbing walls with you, but I'm feeling a little thirsty. Good thing I brought my water bottle. More Mika points, yeah. Whoa, did I just get another Mika point for drinking water? <laughs> Great. <sighs> climbing up high is a lot of fun, but it's important to drink water after you play. That's called staying hydrated, and it's really good for your body. Okay, now that I'm hydrated, I'm ready to climb the coolest wall ever. Are you ready? Great, let's go. to our next wall. Oh, and it's icy and so chilly. It's Mount Everest and it's really, really cold. Warm up your hands with me. Oh, I know. Let's dance it out to warm up our bodies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm ready. Let's buckle in and head up the mountain. Mika Point, here I come. Adventure. 
It was cold, but I had a lot of fun. I saw so many polar bears at the top. a Mika point, and we got a Mika point. You know what else I earned? <gasps> Some hot cocoa. <gasps> Ooh, nice and warm. Mmm. Now let's go see what other fun things we can do. <gasps> Surprise! Here I am. <laughs> oh, check out these blocks. I want to stack them. Yellow, and then blue. Oh, let's do another yellow. And another blue. Whoa, cool pattern. A pattern is something that repeats itself. See, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Let's put another yellow one on top. Whoa, it's getting so high. Another blue at the very top. Ooh. Oh, whoa, I got it. Cool. <laughs> Let's see if we can put another yellow one on top. Okay, here I go. Whoa. Awesome. That was so much fun. Let's find another wall to climb. This wall is awesome. It looks like seven bouncy balls stacked on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be the most challenging climb yet. Challenging means it's going to take a little bit more effort than before, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a Mika point for every ball I climb on. That's going to be a lot of Mika points. You ready? <laughs> Me too. All right, put our wheel in. Click. And release the key. Mika point, here I come. Put in my key, release the wheel. <gasps> that was so much fun. It was challenging, but we made it all the way to the top. Great job! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> wow, today was awesome. First, we stretched our bodies and warmed up. Then Bertha showed us how to put on a harness so we could safely climb our first wall. <gasps> we had hot cocoa on top of Mount Everest. Then we finished with a grand finale on the seven bouncy balls and earned lots of Mika points. You helped me earn this many Mika points today. <laughs> Whoa, we make such a great team. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, see you later. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow. One of my favorite colors. Come with me. Whoa, cool. These are buckets that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm, but 
But this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand. And it's really helpful for the blueberries. But this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's whoop, a stem and the leaves. And look, the fruit, the best part. <laughs> so see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue, and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> they're so cute. I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Oop, there's one down here. Three. Four. Sixteen, almost there. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground, as long as they're nice, blue and ripe. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there. There's more. shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's going to grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers. See? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how it kind of looks white on the outside? That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. Check it out, a really big yellow slide. I have to go down. We put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa, I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated, and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Uh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. Hey, whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. 
This slide is gonna be awesome! Look how high we are! You can see the entire farm! <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. You sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay, you wanna watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there! <laughs> Three, two, one, slide! Whoa! 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 <laughs> that was so fast! That was awesome! <laughs> all right, let's put this over here. And <gasps> my blueberries! Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too, there's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out, it's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, on the other side. Gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stop. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. Can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Ooh. Good night. <laughs> Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all time favorite things, a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You could do this. Woohoo! You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons. And you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour. And you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half like that. And this is a juicer. I'm gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part, we have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa, <laughs> isn't that such a pretty color? 
All right. Now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh, I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so I picked blueberries. I made blueberry lemonade. What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflowers, that's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Where are the sun? Oh, I see sunflowers down there. Let's get a closer look. Come on. I found the sunflowers. Oh, there's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. We did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Cake Bash Studio in Lake Babola, California. They have so many fun cakes to decorate here. And maybe I'll get to do some decorating of my own. Come on. Whoa. Check out all these delicious treats. Hmm, I wonder what they all are. Oh, hey, look at this treat right here. That's called tres leches. Oh, and look, don't these look delicious? Those are cake pops. They kind of look like balloons. <laughs> Can you pretend to hold a balloon and float away? Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, and check out this. Do you know the shape? That's right, it's a square. Hmm, do you know what fruit this is made out of? <laughs> yeah, it's a lemon bar made out of lemons. Whoa, so many delicious things here. Yum, look at these cakes. Oh, I really like how they're decorated. Look, do you know what kind of animal that is? <laughs> That's right, it's a bunny rabbit. Let's pretend to be bunny rabbits. Huff, 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 huff. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like maybe they had a little bit too much carrot cake. <laughs> oh, and look at this one. Oh, it looks lovely. Do you see the shapes on this cake? Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, they're hearts, just like this one. <laughs> All right, I'm supposed to be decorating cakes too. Oh. I see someone over there. Maybe they can help me decorate a cake like this one. Come on, let's go. Hey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Moretis. How can I assist you? Moretis, I would love to decorate a cake. Oh, you came to the perfect place. <laughs> That's what we do. So any idea you may have, we can turn it into a cake. 
Mmm, I'm not sure how I want to decorate my cake yet. Mmm, well, we have plenty of inspiration, so Ooh. take some time to look around and I'll meet you in the back so we can get started. Great. All right. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Whoa! Look at all these cakes. Hmm. They're all different sizes and they're decorated differently too. Time to get some inspiration. Inspiration is when you're getting ideas that make you want to create. <laughs> Let's check out these cakes. Whoa! Look! A unicorn cake with a beautiful rainbow on it. <laughs> so colorful. And check it out. Wow! This is called fondant and you can use it to create all kinds of different shapes on cakes like clouds and flowers and different shapes. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looks like rain. Oh, showers. <laughs> Let me get my umbrella. <laughs> so cute. Did you know that you can't have a rainbow without rain? Uh-huh, that's right. And look over here. These cakes, they all have different toppers. This is called a topper because it's at the top of the cake. Oh, and there's a rabbit topper and a topper with a word. Do you know what this says? <laughs> it says love. Let's spell it. L-O-V-E, love. <laughs> oh, and check it out. The bunny rabbit has a little heart nose. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. Let's turn on this radio and have a 10 second dance party. Ready? I love cake, cake is great. I love cake, cause it makes me wanna wiggle and shake. <laughs> okay, I feel all inspired and I'm ready to decorate. Let's go. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, hi Mika. Did you get any inspiration? Yes, I have a lot of great ideas. Awesome, so here we're gonna get some embellishments that you can add to your cake. And after that, you're gonna meet me at the cake decorating station, okay? Great. <laughs> but first, let's grab your apron. Whoa. Baker and Mika. Thank you. <laughs> cool, I have an apron. I'm Baker Mika, ready to decorate. <laughs> first, let me tie my apron up. Check out all these embellishments. Embellishments are little details you can add to a cake. Whoa, and look, there are so many different types of colors and shapes. Hmm, I'd like to put this on my cake. <laughs> Do you know what these are? <laughs> yeah, bananas. Mmm, they're yellow, just like one of my favorite colors. Okay, oh, speaking of favorite colors, purple, <laughs> yeah, my other favorite color. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I should get out some embellishments of Blippi's favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need blue and orange. Oh, check it out. Blue and orange. What do we have here? <gasps> some pumpkins. Oh, and lots of blue sprinkles. Do you hear that? That's such a cool sound. It's like a maraca. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I like to decorate cakes. <laughs> so cool. Okay, let's grab some more. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Kind of look like mermaid tails. Cool. I'd like some of those, please. And check it out. These are metallic. <laughs> Some of those, and hmm, oh, look. This kind of looks like snow. <laughs> That's pretty neat too. I just washed my hands, I have my embellishments, and I'm ready to start. Awesome, so now we're gonna work in some fondant. Okay. Okay, so we can create some decorations for the cake. Great. You're gonna take the amount of fondant you wanna use, Roll it so you can smooth it out. Okay. And then you're gonna roll. Roll it? Yes. Kind of like a ball. Hey, I could even juggle with these. 
There you go. Your rolling pin. Ooh, my rolling pin. Now I'm going to roll it out. So it's nice and smooth and flat. Yeah. One smooth Ooh. motion. <laughs> Thank you. It's kind of like clay. Okay. All right, you're ready. So now you're going to choose your cutter. Huh, I'd like to choose this flower. You Place gonna that there. Press it and wiggle. Press and wiggle. Now can I pull away this extra yes. fondant? Okay, let's pull this part away. Check it out. A beautiful flower. <gasps> Ooh, maybe it's a daisy. Maybe it's a sunflower or a rose. Great, we'll put it right there. Can I make one out of blue fondant now? Of course. So now, roll it. Roll it up just like a ball. Move it out. What's this? Cornstarch. This helps you for it to, for the fondant to not stick to the surface. Oh, okay. Good to know. Now you're ready to roll. Ready to roll. <laughs> Ooh, I like this color blue. How's that? All right, I think that's good. Okay, so now what shape are you gonna use? Hmm, let's do a car. <laughs> awesome. Do I remember press and wiggle wiggle? Press and wiggle. Great! Oh, that looks awesome! Oh, I just remembered! I have some cutters in my jam pack. Oh, awesome. Let's do those. I have a bow tie for my best friend, Blippi. <laughs> and, oh, a T-Rex! Roar! Can you roar with me like a T-Rex? <gasps> roar! You too. <laughs> roar! <laughs> okay, I want to do the T-Rex next. All right. There you go. <laughs> a blue T-Rex. That is funny. Ooh, hello T-Rex. You can see his bones and everything. All right, Roar. That looks great. Could be a bow tie or a hair bow. Okay, I'd like to finish with this truck. Honk, honk. This out, it this out. <laughs> there you go. And here we can use that. Oh yeah. Things so see it didn't cut through completely. You can cut it out. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's wheel you over, truck. Honk. Honk honk. Alright, so now that we're done with fondant, we're gonna be working with frosting. This is our American buttercream, and we have our foot coloring. These are primary colors. Yellow red, and blue. When you mix certain primary colors, you make secondary colors, like purple and orange. Oh, I've got it. I'd like to make purple and orange. All right, so let's do it. Okay, let's scoop in our frosting. All right, so in order to make orange, I'd like to mix yellow and red. Perfect. Now to make purple, I will mix <gasps> red and blue. There we go. Okay, time to stir. Wow, it's turning orange. It's turning purple. <laughs> Great. That looks delicious. All right, so here's your cake. Now you have everything you need so that you can make your creation. If you need anything else, just let me know. I'll be in the back. Thank you. All right, you're very welcome. Bye, Moretti. Bye, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, let's start to decorate. Woo, I'm excited. Okay, gonna put on my truck. Let's put on our car next. Oh, and look at this. It's a turntable. Oh, 
Spin, spin, spin. Oh, I want to put my flower on top. Hmm, where should my T-Rex go? Rawr. Oh, here's a great spot for it. Hmm, I'll save my bow tie for later. Now I'm ready to do some frosting. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Wow, three little ringlets. Let's do a little fourth one. Okay, let's put on some embellishments. Bananas! Open this up. Whoa, check it out. Sprinkle these on top. Wow! Okay, let me put on the bow. <laughs> check it out. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Awesome. We decorated a cake. <gasps> Whoa. Decorating cakes is fun and creative too. First, we got inspiration. Then, we cut shapes into the fondant. And then, we frosted our friendship cake. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friend, I'll see ya later. Come.